Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategist. In this lesson, we're going to cover A value-added tax is a tax charged on the gross profit of every step in the supply chain. It's best understood using an example. The country of Desivat has a 10% value-added tax. A flour manufacturer will buy $1,000 worth of grain from a farmer for $1,100, 100 of which will go to the government as value-added tax to create flour. If the manufacturer sells the flour to a baker for $1,500, he will charge $1,550, since a 10% value-added tax is imposed on the gross profit of $500. A value-added tax is the most common form of consumption tax for industrialized countries with over 160 countries levying a value-added tax, excluding the United States. Advocates of the tax claim the following. It helps raise government revenues without punishing wealth or success, like income tax. Replacing other taxes with a value-added tax would close tax loopholes. And it is based on consumption and therefore encourages saving. Those against a value-added tax argue the following. A value-added tax would be felt less by the wealthy as lower income earners would pay a higher percentage of their earnings in taxes with a value-added tax system. A value-added tax creates higher costs for businesses and local governments are unable to set localized tax rates. Let's hear from you. Should the United States adopt a value-added tax? Leave a comment below. For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategist.